Hello all you wonderful beings of light and truth seekers. Jay Sadler here, Four Circles Healing Tarot. How are you all? Hope you're all well. Hope you are coping well with all the different things that are going on right now. Whether that's to do with the current health situation, whether it's to do with political intrigue, or whether it's to do with, with other world events and natural disasters and things like that are happening right now. We are in that season of hurricanes and wildfires and, and all those people have lost possessions, lost lives, lost loved ones. My heart and prayers go out to all these ones because of these situations and I know there's other situations going on around the world as well. I send my love and blessings to you all. Today I'm going to do a full moon reading as part of the moon cycle phases and uh, this full moon reading is for everyone, it's for all signs, it's for all who are watching, it's for no one in particular, it's a general reading, so take what resonates with you and leave the rest behind as they say. So this is for the full moon in Pisces on the 2nd of September coming up very shortly as I record this and the actual energy of it this phase of it because it's like the third phase if you like it lasts from the second and well yeah from the second until about the 8th or 9th of September then it enters into the, the final phase in the third quarter they call it but uh, I think it's a bit more like the fourth quarter if I'm being honest and then it starts moving towards the new moon again. So it's going to be a general reading. So let's see please cards what kind of energy can we expect for the new moon phase. Like some cards to tell me or to share with us please what the new moon phase is all about. From the full moon phase, sorry, <laughs> got a new moon in my head. It's the new moon in Leo, that was very, very powerful, wasn't it? So, for a full moon, please, for the full moon energy, no wonder the cards aren't answering properly. <laughs> full moon, okay, full moon. Okay, so then we have to, yes, let's take this one. Very appropriate, very appropriate. Ah, yes, very appropriate. Two cards. Which one? This one. Oh, look at this! Look at this. Okay, let's take another random one from here. There you go. There you go. So, we have very auspicious cards. I'm using the Moonology. Oracle deck for this reading. I thought it very appropriate being a full moon reading. And I will uh, be consulting the book as well. But let's have a look to see what we've got first. We have got adjustments are required for the third quarter moon. You can see that there. You can see that all right. So, third quarter moon. So, this is like moving into. Obviously, we've got the full moon in uh, on the 2nd, which is, I believe, Wednesday, the 2nd of September. And then after that, it starts moving into the third quarter. This is like starting to wane a little bit. So the, the energy reaches its peak on the 2nd, and it starts to slowly wind down as it transitions back to the new moon. So the real burst of energy comes out on the full moon itself, you know, and it really sends all the energy has got right out and it can be overwhelming for some and for others you know it, it's it's a time of healing you know, it's a time time of regenerating and that's how I feel I mean I love the full moon and I love the full moon energy and but being a Scorpio perhaps that's why <laughs> you know, I don't howl at the moon I don't start turning furry and <laughs> run around howling and barking no but I just love the full moon energy and the new moon, all the moon energy, I just love it because 
we are 80 percent water and it, it does affect us you know it affects our moods it affects, affects our emotions in all these different ways so we've got that to start off with then we have fiery climax approaches and that's the full moon in Aries you can see it's reddish here red for, for fire Aries being a fire sign I know we've had that past and it's uh, I don't think we had no we didn't have a full moon in Aries this time did we um, I think the last one was in Scorpio in May in May June no and then it went into Cancer, or something like that. I can't, I'm, not, I'm, I'm not really into the, the full moon or the, the moon cycles, not to date. I need to get a diary, I really must get a diary. But we've got the full moon in Aries here, so this is like a fiery energy for some of you out there. So you may have to make a couple of tweaks to retune your internal engines so it's given out its full power to get that, get you up and running, up to speed, so to speak. Then we have you're very close to achieving your goal and that's the gibbous moon so this is this is like the night before this is the full moon just before it hits so this is tuesday this is the first of september energy right here but obviously you know it goes on in, into the full moon then on the second so you're very close to achieving whatever it is you're aiming for you know and when you make these tweaks and you know and get that passion going again you'll realize that you are that close to achieving everything that you've wanted or whatever it is whatever goal you've set yourself you know whether that's in a relationship or whether that's in the workplace or a career or, or maybe you're starting a new business or something like that you know whatever it happens to be you know, it could be setting goal setting and you're close to it there's also a time for healing during this next phase it's time for healing so here we have the balsamic moon so this is uh, just before it goes into the new moon phase so the, the energy the moon's energy here is pretty much withdrawn it's not given out a lot so it's a time for reflection and you start to think about what's been going on over the last while so this, this, as I said, is, is a period of, of about a week or so, seven, eight days, something like that. So towards the end of that period, you know, you, you'll get this sudden urge to do things, and you know, you make a, a little tweak here and there, and you'll have that fire and passion that you want, and you'll be close to getting what you want. But then perhaps something interrupts that. That's what I'm getting, and makes you perhaps pause and think: Is this the right direction for me to go in? Let's have a look and see what the book says about all these different things. So, uh, give me a moment, please, to find the show and find out where it is. So, we've got third quarter moon. I'm not finding the one I want. <laughs> so excuse me. Just, by the way, uh, just to let you know, just a little warning if you like, YouTube have changed things a little bit. They now stick adverts in every eight minutes. So if you haven't got premium, you want to start getting adverts every eight minutes. So I apologize in the uh, was it there? Uh, apologize on behalf of YouTube, or well, not really. But obviously they need to make money, whatever. But uh, it's it's annoying. I know I know I know what it's like to uh, You'd be watching something or even listening to something on a podcast or something and then all of a sudden in the middle of an advert pops up you know or it gets gets to a good part in the tv <laughs> you know that's uh that's you know uh, adverts are necessary 
adverts are necessary. Right, I've got what I want. However, they do pop up at, you know, I, I feel they just take away from the message, especially like on YouTube or if you listen to a podcast and you get an advert halfway through. It just spoils the effect somehow. Anyway, so adjustments are required. Th three quarter or third quarter moon. So think of yourself as a vessel that has been filled more and more over the past few weeks. So we certainly have had the build up of energy over the last few weeks, haven't we? Uh, with, with the new moon and everything, and then the moon's energy just coming, you know, to, to a pinnacle, as it were, at the peak on the second, and then it'll start to, to wane a little bit. So some of, uh, some of what has come your way may have been wonderful but there's also a lot of negativity and you need to let go of this. Whatever situation you're asking about now, be honest about whether they are there are toxic emotions involved which you need to release into the ethers. So that's why it's asking you to, to do or make a few tweaks if you want to move on into to your passion, whatever it is you want to get going with because there may be some negative vibes that have appeared, negative energy that's appeared over the last couple of weeks as well and you may still have things you'd like to work on whether that's to do with limiting beliefs or, or whether that's to do with uh, toxic situations toxic people and so on like that that perhaps you need to uh, move out of your life let go now it's a time maybe for letting go of something that's no longer serving you in that sense so this card also comes with the promise that all is not lost However, there are changes or adjustments required before you'll get to where you want to be. A change, of course, is forecast now that recent events have been understood and acted upon. There may also be a crisis uh, now which will remind you what you want and uh, when it's time to let go of, uh, of anything that's not serving you, so pay attention to that. Okay. So, let go of anything that's not serving you so you can move on to the next, which is the full moon in Aries. Let me see if I can find that a bit quicker. I think I can. The full moon in Aries. A fiery climax approaches. It's time to see if you've been a little bit too much me, me, me. There's a tug of war going on between what you want and what someone else wants but you'll have to wait a little while to see what's going to happen next. As you wait, ask yourself if you've been handling the situation as sensitively as you could have been. If you know deep down that you've been a little rash or harsh, gone too fast or overstepped the mark, then accept that on some level. You've created the situation yourself, which means you can create your way out of it too. When this card comes in, comes up a peak is coming and it could be fiery so you are moving towards something really really good but if you allow the negative vibes the negative situations to remain in your life that peak could be an outburst of anger outburst of fiery anger and that could have long-term consequences if you let go whatever the, the negative emotion is whatever it is the toxic situation whatever it happens to be it'd be more passionate it'd be more positive be able to be more in control of your emotions and you'll be able to focus better on your goals and whatever it is dreams whatever it is you're focusing on right now so give us moon let's see if i can find that down here somewhere in third quarter moon. Let's have a look. Oh, this one's easy. I wonder what that one is. Uh, uh, give you a moon. Where are you then? Where are you? Ah, here we go. You're very close to achieving your goal. The word gibbous means bulging. What a destruct destructive word, right? Pulling this card at any time of the month suggests that the situation you're about uh, asking about is bulging with possibility and coming to a peak but this isn't an ending card with a, a neat yes or no answer rather you've been reminded that some adjustments may yet be required 
before you get what you want. Though you're actually certainly on the right track, which is hopefully reassuring for you. However, there is also a sense that the situation is a bit tense, so don't push too hard. One false move and the whole thing could blow. That's not meant to scare you, it's just to let you know that there is a fuse attached to this situation. So be careful if you choose to light it. So again, like I was saying, get rid of the toxic stuff and it'll be okay. Yes, it's coming to a peak, it's coming into that full moon uh, energy. It's already starting anyway, it's going to start long before here, isn't it? It's, it's already starting there. But it's gone too. You get this wrong, you allow all, all this negative stuff to still hang around in your life. And it's just going to explode, isn't it? And create disturbance. But if you allow it, you know, to if you allow the toxic stuff to get away or, or deal with the toxic stuff, it'll have a much more positive effect and you'll have a much more positive energy. Now the balsamic moon, it's a time of healing. I saw that somewhere here. And that says, pulling this card suggests that the past is in the past and a bright future is beckoning. However, before you take your next step, make sure that both you and the situation feel healed. This is not the time to paper over cracks or to simply pretend that everything is okay. Rather, you still need a little more time to heal and to soothe both yourself and anyone else in need then remind yourself that anything is possible, if you believe it. This is also a time to surrender and wait to hear guidance from the universe. Powerful insights can be had if you know that someone or something really isn't good for you, this kind of reminder to surrender. Start to work on your, work on your belief in your dreams and, and so you're ready when the time comes. So, that kind of confirms what I've been saying, has, doesn't it? Which is really, really good. Let go of the toxic stuff. Regain your positive passion. You'll get that full energy. Really move forward. And whatever was has now gone. You know, the past has moved on. However, like I said, take time to reflect. Is it fully healed? Is that situation fully healed? Or is there still more work to do? Okay. So then, speaking of the universe, I've got the notes from the universe tarot or the oracle cards here. I'm just going to pick a card from this. See what we have. And we have got love is the reason. Okay. So love is the reason. So this could well be, I don't know if you can see that very well in this light, but love is the reason, hopefully you can. Um, so this could well be a love situation, a relationship situation. It could be something that you're really passionate about. So love is the reason that you want to move forward, why you've got this passion. Love is the reason. And the card says, each person in your life is there for a reason. And that reason always has to do with love. Uh, and he says it right at the end, like me, the universe. <laughs> so, whatever has happened or is happening in your life right now is happening for a reason. We all know that, don't we? It's there for a reason. There are lessons to be learned. There are always lessons to be learned. We never stop learning. It's a, it's a, a never-ending story in that in that situation, because we, we are uh, always learning, wanting to learn. We yearn for for more information. We yearn for new things all the time. By making those tweaks with love, don't be harsh about it. Don't just cut someone off. Do it gently. Then we'll build up the real love and passion. We ignite our engines, so to speak. Get that extra power, that extra boost that we need to move to the next stage where we can start creating a new reality that we want. These negative things will be passed and once we are happy that that situation or situations have been healed we can move on okay we can move on that's what I'm getting for you guys
that's what I'm getting for you and there you go the sun's just coming out shining on these cars there you go wonderful 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 that's the full moon energy that's the full moon reading for you guys if you like what you see and you're new to this channel please hit subscribe and ding the bell so apparently that's very important and also for all who are watching if you, if you show your support by by liking uh, this reading and you know hit the like button and there are other ways that you can support me as well that are down in the description box so I thank you for this opportunity to um, to be able to share this message with you and just before I go I'd just like to, to share also a little announcement that as from September the 1st I'm now starting to take uh, requests for personal readings either in with a tarot cards or numerology or with playing card readings all the information is on my website so I thank you guys for listening and watching and until next time namaste